Hi everyone, this is a tutorial on how to disable and enable Keysoft on the Braille Note Touch Plus. This can be useful for students, parents, teachers, paraprofessionals to know. There might be times when a sighted user need to navigate to something on the screen, read something on the screen, troubleshoot a task, help find a document, or um, look for a file, and so on. Keysoft is, is, is an accessibility software built into the Braille Note Touch. It is enabled when the device is turned on automatically, and this gives you speech and Braille output, which makes the Touch a fully accessible Braille tablet. We go ahead and see um, if it's on. As you can um, hear, uh, the audio is on. You can go ahead and navigate all the All the audio is working, um, the Braille is all accessible. We are going to uh, turn off the key soft. To do so, you press the up and down volume button at the same time. When the Braille Note Touch Plus is laying in front of you, like so, uh, the volume buttons are, gonna, are located on the left side below the power button. We're going to press the two buttons together and you will hear it say Keysoft off. It may take a few seconds, but it is off now. Um, when the Keysoft is disabled, there will be no speech or Braille feedback and the Braille keyboard and Braille display cannot be used. As you can hear, there you, know, you don't hear anything and none of the Braille um, is working. With Keysoft off, the Braille Note Touch Plus becomes a regular Android tablet. A sighted person can now use the device as a standard Android touch screen. So we're going to open it up to see the screen and there it is. From here you can go ahead and you can use it as you would a tablet um, to scroll uh, to go down a page um, to go down the page or navigate, you just use one finger and you swipe up. And if you want to go up the page, you do the opposite where you use one finger again and swipe down. From here, you can also open um, any apps, find a file, a document, um, anything you want to open. Um, again, using one finger, tap what you want to open. I'm going to open a file. There are my files. Now I'm going to open um, a document uh, that I was working on. And I can edit from here. As you can hear, um, there's a little tap um, like a, you're tapping on a keyboard, but there's no audio other than that. I'm going to add a sentence. Um, once I'm done, I can go ahead and save it and exit out of it. To go back to the main menu, I can press the circle button that is on the bottom of the device. And that brings me back to my main menu. Um, if I want to see what app is open, I can go ahead and press the square button on the bottom of the device next to the circle button. And again, if I want to open up something that is um, available here that I want to see, I just go ahead and tap it. And there it is. Now, to enable and turn Keysoft on again, you're going to press the volume buttons at the same time as you did when you disabled Keysoft. I'm gonna go ahead and press both volume buttons at the same time um, until you hear Keysoft on. Search or type web address, get in box. The device um, at this point is back to the original setting with the Keysoft enabled. The user can now navigate with Braille and audio again. Um, 
This tutorial um, is for the newest model of the Braille Note Touch um, Plus. So if a student has an older model, um, the command might be slightly different. Um, so you'll have to check on that. Um, I thank you for your time. Have a good day.